can you tell me a little bit about the challenges of designing a vehicle that's specifically suited for hackney carriage use? Yeah, the taxis in London um, have, have got a long history and a long heritage. We, we've been around for uh, 300 years um, since Oliver Cromwell. Um, and, and as such, the vehicles evolved where it's become an icon of London. So to design a vehicle that can, uh, to fit that criteria and to become an icon, you know, to design an icon, if you like, is, uh, is not something that's easy. But uh, to be fair to this, and they seem to have done it. So you mentioned the iconic design of the taxi. How important is that, do you think, to any vehicle that's going to become a hackney carriage? London's unique. The, the taxi service in London is, is the oldest in the world. We win all the awards every year for the best taxi service in the world. There's a lot of pride and a lot of heritage involved in, in London taxis. And uh, for a manufacturer to, to want to get involved in that heritage and that history um, is... is it takes effort and commitment, and um, f from the looks of it, it's certainly going to do that. Why, why do you think the London taxi market is in fact the best in the world? The, the London taxi market, well, the London taxi driver is the best in the world, irrespective of what vehicle he drives. It's the, the knowledge of London, the commitment, the three years of training, minimum of three years of training that someone undergoes to become a taxi driver in London. Um, and that's what makes it, it's, it's pride in the job, it's pride in the badge, it's pride in the history, it's the knowledge of the city, um, and, and that's what makes it unique, it's the driver. Um, what do you think are the current and maybe the future challenges for the London taxi market? The, the biggest challenges to the taxi trade in London, vehicle-wise, are going to be around emissions and um, pollutants. London has a major air quality problem at present, largely caused by the dieselisation of the car fleet. But the, the mayor and, and, and central government are looking at reducing it and they're looking at public transport, taxi and buses, in order to, to clean the air up. What we need for the future, we need a clean, preferably zero emissions vehicle. So on to, on to the design of, of the, the hackney carriage, what, what do taxi drivers look for in the design? Now what taxi drivers want is it's very straightforward. They want a reliable vehicle. They want a vehicle that looks like a taxi and they want a vehicle that's comfortable to drive. On top of that, we've then got the requirements for the passenger. Um, we need it to be uh, a good disability access, easy uh, in and out, um, capacity to carry a bit of luggage. Um, it's quite straightforward really. We want it to drive all day, every day and not go wrong. What, uh, what are your first impressions of uh, the redesigned Nissan vehicle? Yeah, I'm actually very impressed with the redesign of it. The front has been made to look like a taxi. The, if you look back down the ages, you know, for the last hundred years that we've had motor taxis, it looks, it looks exactly like it should. It's, it's got the, 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 the last uh, higher light, it's got the round headlights, it's a little bit oldie weldy and that's what taxi drivers want, that's what London wants. Um, and do you think it will be, um, the design will be popular with drivers and passengers? Yeah, I think it's going to be very popular with passengers. So I think the design is going to be very popular with passengers because it looks like a taxi should. If you're standing in the street on a cold, wet Friday evening, what you're looking for, you're looking for that orange light. And when you see that, you, and from the front of this, it looks like a taxi. So passenger-wise, it's going to be very popular. Why, why do you think uh, the, London, the London taxi driver is so important to the capital? Yeah, London taxi drivers, apart from being the best in the world, are an integral part of this city. We're the only part of the transport system that's 100% uh, disability access. We, we can take people in wheelchairs, all sorts of disabilities. The buses and the tubes can't do that. We run 24 hours a day when, when, the, when the tubes are on strike, when the buses are on strike, when nothing works, taxi drivers are working. We provide that final door-to-door -door service. Um, you know if you're getting a taxi in London, firstly you know you're going to get there, secondly you know the driver's safe and reliable and you recognise the vehicle and that's all we want.